So, would you like to make some Valentine cards today? Um, I have two different styles here, one feminine, one masculine, and today I'll do the masculine, tomorrow I'll do the feminine. So, to get started, take some thick Whisper White cardstock, fold it in half. And this is a new color, granite. I use the granite solid color paper. So that's just a layer. Nothing is stamped on that. And then using the wood grain paper, I'm going to create this flag. And the way I do flags is from the bottom center where I want the flag, I just cut a slit up through the top and then cut from the edge to the middle, from the edge to the middle, and just like that. It's a pretty perfect little flag. Ooh, what side is better? They're similar. And that's just another layer. This wood grain paper, I keep using it over and over and over. Oh, and speaking of products, in this card for these little wood embellishments, that is a free item from the Celebration Catalog. And they are right here. They come in large and small. I'll be using the large, but the small work just as well. And from celebration or the um, occasions catalog I'll be using these little hearts on the inside see right here and tomorrow's girl will use that designer paper and then on page six we'll be using a lot of these stamps and then these um, framelits okay so, then the next layer is the espresso paper, and that's just plain solid. And that gets put on here. Then, this is the burlap ribbon. Oop, almost out. Let's see if it's enough. Perfect. I'm going to cut that at an angle. Get rid of the sticky stuff. Okay, and then attach this right about here. And I'll use the tear and tape. Just a little bit of it to hold it down. And it's going to be stuck down this um, burlap ribbon underneath quite a few layers on the card. So if it isn't exactly strong enough, it's okay. It'll be stuck down with all the other layers. Okay. Next is the rectangle, and I have white, whisper white paper, and these are the stitch framelits, so it'll have the stitching on the inside, and then I'll cut the outside. So I will cut that. Here it is cut. Look how nice little stitched edges. And then I'll put dimensionals on it, and attach it to the card. Then the next layer is this large heart. Um, I'll be using three different size hearts. The large one, medium, and then small, but I'll stamp the small one first. So I think I'll go for a little bit more texture. I'll attach this just with regular adhesive. And I think I'm gonna have it go right to the edge, but I wanna see the, all the framelit. Okay, then the next layer is I'm trying to get all different colors of wood because if it was all the same, it'd be matchy-matchy, but there wouldn't be much differentiation. I think it's better when there's um, difference, and this kind of matches the wood framelits. So I will cut this, and to put the little bow on, um, I'd suggest first taking a piece of the linen thread and wrapping it around attaching that with dimensionals 
I like the magic of TV. And I'm putting that on here. And how about right there? And then tie a bow, just a little one. Because trying to tie a bow around that heart that's regularly shaped would be so challenging. Don't want to do that. And there's a tiny little bow. And then to attach it, I'm going to take a glue dot and roll it up like a tortilla, like a burrito. Rolling it up. So now it's just one long little burrito glue dot. Putting it on the back side of the bow. Not sure what the front or the back side is, but today it's this side. And I'll put it at a little bit of an angle. Because everything on the card is so much straight up and down, I think at an angle would be kind of cute. Good. Then trim ends of the bow. Okay. So now it's just for this love you. And I'll be using this stamp. And I'll stamp it on the Whisper White paper. And I'm going to use, um, this color is granite. So I'll use the granite stamp pad. And I think I'm going to stamp it off so that it's faint, so the words will show through. So stamp it off. I'll stamp it on here. Good. And now to do the love you, did you notice the love you really doesn't fit that well? I either chop off something on the words, but it all works out because you could still read what it says. So when you go to stamp the love you on here, try to line up your words with the um, stripes on the, oh, that worked out good, on the, the heart. The first few times I did it, all my words were a little crooked. So there's that. And then use this framelit, and it has stitching on it and then a scalloped outside. So run this through the Big Shot. Put dimensionals on the back of it. How about right there? Then for the little wood embellishments, I'm going to attach on here. You could attach them with a glue dot. Kind of tuck them underneath that heart. Oh, I can see that one's kind of shiny through there. Oh, well. Okay, so the outside is done. So now for the inside, Let's do these hearts, and that's done in Stamped Off, I think it's Stamped Off Espresso. And these hearts are just the cutest thing. Look at the white paper. And I'm going to stamp them off because I want the words to show through. So, ink it, stamp off, put it on the edge of the paper. Ooh, that's pretty. You know, I might have done this one in the granite gray. That's okay. I like this one too. Okay. So that's done. Now I'm going to put these little words off to the side. This one is I love our life together. And I'm going to do that full strength in espresso. Put one there. Maybe one here. I'm trying to make sure I keep them straight. And this one is, You Make Me Happy. Ooh, I like how that one is. The happy is a little bold. Okay. Now, for Happy Valentine's Day, that's this stamp here. And that will go right at the top. Happy Valentine's Day. Cool. I kept on trying to put pink and red and girly colors in there, but if this is for a guy, brown is good. And put this inside of here. There it is. 
a man Valentine Day card. I love both of them. Okay, happy stamping.